Hi everyone, and welcome to English Digest. I'm Pat, and I'm Erin. So this time out, we're looking at our news article, our news digest article for this month. It's all about、uh, animal welfare.、Uh, have you or anyone of, in your family ever adopted an animal, looked after a stray, Plenty something like that? Plenty of them, actually. Yeah, yeah we、um, we've had animals in my house as long as I can remember.、Mm-hmm. Uh, I know we had three cats when I was. A toddler, Fred, Fritzy, and Tiger. Right, were their names, and then、okay. uh, my parents, over the course of my life, decided to keep getting cats and naming them Fred.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, they also have a couple of dogs now. And they were any of those animals like adopted strays or rescued? Most, most of the cats were、mm-hmm. not not the dogs, but the cats definitely were. Yeah, my、mm-hmm. parents' current cat was was rescued from somewhere, but I do remember us getting some cats when I was maybe eight or nine, which were kittens of a friend's cat.、Mm. Uh, but I know other ones they've they've got from shelters or taken、right. from homes where they weren't really being looked after that well. So that's true. It's、yeah. a bit of a mix. Well, today is all about、uh, stray animals and what happens to them on Taiwan. So let's read through the article and find out what the story is all about. The Taiwanese government has introduced a new law. Banning animal euthanasia, the law came into effect on February fourth and prohibits the killing of animals being cared for in shelters. In addition to increasing the fines for those who abandon animals, this policy has reawakened public interest in Jian Zhicheng, a vet who committed suicide in May 2016 by injecting herself with the same drug used to put down strays. Jen's suicide note suggested that her concern for animal welfare, as well as the extreme pressure she was under, led to her suicide. In the note, she said she wanted her actions to remind the public that when it comes to animals and humans, there is no difference in life. Her colleagues spoke of how upset she was over having to put down so many dogs. To make matters worse. She had been accused of being a butcher who loved to kill. Over ten thousand stray dogs were put down in Taiwan in 2015, and Jen had been forced to terminate the lives of 700 animals in two years. Even though her shelter in Taoyuan had both a low kill rate and a high adoption rate, she still suffered public abuse. Although the government has tried to deal with the problem. Many still believe that banning euthanasia fails to address the real issue. Most stray dogs are not neutered, meaning they can reproduce. Moreover, a good many people seem to abandon their dogs on a whim. Though there are laws about neutering pets as well as programs for neutering strays, they are not enforced strongly enough. Much more work is needed to deal with the stray animal problem. And to ensure that the tragedy of Jen Zhicheng is not repeated. Okay, so let's take a look at the title of our article first. Vet death raises questions about animal welfare.、Mm-hmm. A vet. This is short for the longer word veterinarian,、yep. which basically just means animal doctor,、mm-hmm. someone who looks after animals. You won't find many people using the full word veterinarian in conversation. We find it much easier to say vet. Right. It's also much easier to spell、yes. than veterinarian.、Um, we also. Had the word welfare in there, and we're, so we're talking about animal welfare. Welfare here is、um, the idea of health and happiness for animals or people. So, animal welfare is basically animals being safe, being well cared for, being fed, having a shelter, a, a shelter、like、to、that. stay in. Yeah. yeah, it can also refer to society's efforts to provide for the needs of、mm-hmm. those in need. So,、right. not just looking after animals, but what we as a society do to make sure our animals or our poorer people. Our Our hungry children and so on are properly looked after. That's right. So the article begins by talking about this new law that was introduced earlier this year. The Taiwanese government has introduced a new law banning animal euthanasia. 
So here we have the word ban. It's used here as a verb to ban something. It can also be a noun, a ban,、uh, and it's a law saying that something is not allowed. Something、mm-hmm. is illegal. So here we're talking about animal euthanasia being illegal. Right. Euthanasia is the、uh, putting down of animals that are still alive、mm-hmm. and aren't like terminally sick or anything like that. Although,、right. can you use euthanasia? For things that are kind of very sick, I think you、uh, might、yes. be able to. Yes, I, I I know that when our pets were very ill,、mm. eventually it got to the point where it's when the quality of life decreases to the point that they're in pain all the time because of an illness or they're sick in some yeah, way or they've broken a leg or something, and so they they use this special medication to put them to sleep. Yeah,、basically. well, that's a phrase you, we use quite often. Put、mm-hmm. the animal to sleep because、right. it's supposed to be a a pain. Painless death, which、right. just sends them slowly into a sleep, from which they never wake up. So it's almost kind of like killing for kind reasons、mm-hmm. uh, here. So, and the new law basically says they can't do that anymore. Right.、Uh, presumably, unless the animal is kind of very, very sick and dying. This is about killing、uh, stray ones. Yes, I assume that there has to be some sort of. Yeah, if it's a very old, very sick animal, of course、right. you're allowed to put it down or、right. put it to sleep. But here we mean just the ones. That are stray and that they haven't got any homes, right? Because there was that rule that they could only stay in a shelter for like twelve nights, I think it was, before、mm. they had to be killed off. Okay,、uh, and that's the kind of thing they're saying is now banned or、okay. against the law. All right, so this law came into effect on February fourth and prohibits the killing of animals being cared for in shelters. So there we see that sort of clause added on to、yes. to prove. What we're talking about here, so the phrase "come into effect" means that、uh, a new rule or a new law is、um, going to start happening, being、mm. officially sort of used. Yeah, it may have been created a bit earlier, but、right. they usually say, "Okay, we've got this new law, we voted for it, but、mm-hmm. it won't start until this time," this which gives、mm-hmm. people time to prepare. Right. Okay.、Um, something that's very important to do when you're introducing new laws. Yeah, and this particular law, as we've said, we've already used the word bans something. Here's、mm-hmm. another similar word: prohibits something. If something is Prohibited again. It is against the law. It is、mm-hmm. not allowed by law. And in this case, again, we're talking about killing animals being cared for in shelters,、right. which are places that、uh, dogs, cats, and other strays can、mm-hmm. go and live, get food, get、uh, a actual physical shelter、mm-hmm. to keep them warm and out of the rain and、mm-hmm. so on. Now, this isn't the only thing that the law does.、Uh, no, it's in addition to increasing the fines for those who abandon animals. Now.、Uh, Uh, fines are obviously that money that you pay to the government or a government agency or、um, an, an administration that、uh, says that you've broken a rule and this is your punishment. So you pay this much money. That's right.、Um, certain certain crimes will get you in jail, but、right? for minor crimes, you will be punished financially. You will have to pay a fine. Right. So the people paying these fines are those who are abandoning animals.、Um, abandon means to leave in this. Case an animal or something in general, just something in general, in a place, and to go away from it, never coming back to get it. Yeah, it kind、mm-hmm. of means you're stopping being responsible for that thing. You're leaving、right. it there and saying that is now no longer anything to do with me.、Mm-hmm. Just kind of letting an animal run off and then forgetting about it and never letting it come back home. So that's the main idea. This is the policy, this law that has been introduced and started earlier this year, and this. Particular law has reawakened public interest in Chen Chijang.、Uh, I think I'm saying that kind of okay. I, if <laughs> if not, I apologise to her family. Now, this vet committed suicide in May 2016 last year by injecting herself with the same drug used to put down strays. So let's first just quickly look at the word reawakened.、Uh, if something is awakened, then it kind of gets a lot of interest. In、mm-hmm. this case, awakened public interest. People are interested in it. That、right. kind of starts.、Mm-hmm. People start being interested. When we add re 
in front of it, we mean again. Right. So people were very interested in talking about it. It was in the public eye、mm -hmm. when she killed herself, and now it kind of brought it back. People are remembering it. There was a few more articles about it around the time the law came out. Yes. And so people started remembering her. So it reawakened the interest in her. Right, and so we also learned in that sentence that she committed suicide by injecting herself with the same drug used to put down strays. So, inject is when you inject something, you use a needle、uh, or a syringe to put a chemical or a drug of some sort into your blood. So、mm -hmm. you, she's injecting herself with this euthanasia drug, in, yeah, in effect, which is used to put down, which is the same as saying put to sleep、mm -hmm. or euthanize.、Uh, euthanize is the verb form.、Mm -hmm. Strays, and here strays normally stray is an adjective. Stray dogs. Here we're using strays as a noun to mean stray dogs.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next paragraph kind of deals with with Jen's story. So Jen's suicide note suggested that her concern. Concern for animal welfare, as well as the extreme pressure she was under, led to her suicide. A suicide note is something that a person will leave when they take their own lives to explain how they're feeling, maybe to leave some last words for their family.、Uh, now, not everybody does this. It's not a hundred percent anyone who commits suicide will leave a note,、uh, but though some people do, they want to kind of say to the world, "This is why I'm doing what I'm doing," and almost kind of you to say, "You've left me no choice." Right. You know, my life has gotten so bad because of something. That I have no other way out. Right now, the article that this paragraph specifically is going to go on to explain what was in her suicide note and why sort of the extreme pressure that actually led to this suicide.、Mm -hmm. So, in the note, she said she wanted her actions to remind the public that when it comes to animals, there is no difference in life. So that's、um, animals that's a, and humans. Yeah,、right. she's saying humans and animals we're the same. We can't treat them differently. When、right. we're talking about their welfare and other things like that,、mm -hmm. uh, we put that last few words. The there is no difference in life. We put those in quotation marks, and we've done that in the article to show that those words were actually in her suicide note. We、mm -hmm. are quoting what she wrote directly. Okay.、Uh, the article goes on to say her colleagues spoke of how upset she was over having to put down so many dogs. Right.、Uh, colleagues is just. Just another word that means coworkers, the people who work with you in a particular place. So,、uh, she was a vet. We know this from the title of the article.、Mm -hmm. She worked in an animal shelter. So her colleagues are the people who still work at this shelter,、right. and they will know exactly what she was going through.、Mm -hmm. Okay, we're about halfway through the article here, so we're going to take a short break, and we'll be back in a few moments to look at the second half. Welcome back, everyone. So we're talking about、uh, the new law in Taiwan that bans animal euthanasia,、mm -hmm. stops people killing animals that are in shelters, and increases fines for people who abandon their animals. And this got everyone talking about、uh, Chen Zhicheng and her suicide. And we're talking about how her colleagues knew that she was very upset at the time and have been speaking. To the media to talk about、uh, why she was so upset. So、mm -hmm. we know that she was upset about having to kill so many animals. That was one thing.、Mm -hmm. Well, they go on to say more about how she had to deal with these things at work, and yeah, exactly. And、um, kind of, she got a lot of、um, abuse from the media, which we'll talk about later. And it says here to make matters worse, she had been accused of being a butcher who loved to kill, which is terrible.、Mm -hmm. Now I assume these words are in quotes. As well, so I assume they were written in the suicide note as well. Possibly, 
or、mm-hmm. they were taking them from direct quotes of what was written on, on her Facebook pages,、mm-hmm. on online forums when people were talking about her. Maybe even what people said in interviews, which、right. is horrible and, of course, not true. I mean, how could you be a vet who loves to kill? It、mm-hmm. just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. No. So let's look at this phrase to make matters worse. We started the sentence off. It's used when we're talking about something that actually makes an already bad situation much worse.、Mm-hmm. So we know that she has to put down all of these dogs, but she doesn't want to do this. It's part of her job. It's it's something that she has yeah, to do. And it was previously the、mm-hmm. law; they had to do that. Right. So to make matters worse, or to make this already bad situation worse, she'd been accused of being a butcher. Now, when you're accused of something, someone is saying that you've committed a crime or you're doing this really bad thing, and、um, it's a way of of saying that the public. Is against what you're doing. That's right,、mm-hmm. and they called her a butcher. Now, butcher has two meanings. The normal kind of job of butcher is just a person whose job it is to cut up dead animals、mm-hmm. and sell the meat in a particular shop. That is a butcher. But the other meaning of butcher is just somebody who just kind of kills, right? Like anything, anyone.、Mm-hmm. Uh, they talk about you know people who were in history have killed a lot of people as being. Butchers. butchers, you know, they just—they don't really care about killing. Maybe they enjoy killing, or they just don't care about what they kill. And I think here people were labeling her as the second meaning. Right. I mean, she she wouldn't do this if she didn't have to. Absolutely. You know, not, and so、no. like it's not her job to, to you know to cut up animals and and to to kill animals. It's technically her job to care for animals. To care for them exactly.、Mm-hmm. Now this is a, a problem in Taiwan. This whole killing of dogs,、uh, because we find out some figures here to show you how kind of bad it got for her in her life. Over ten thousand stray dogs were put down in Taiwan in 2015, which is a, a huge number. It is. And Jen had been forced to terminate the lives of 700 animals in two years.、Mm-hmm. And if you look at the math, there, it's almost one dog a day. Right. Which you know that would just make you not want to go to work. No, I I can see how she had so much pressure on her、yeah. having to do this, especially for someone who really loves animals. Exactly. Now that's a That's a huge number for、mm. for even just one year. Yes, and that's not even thinking about the other years that she's worked there. Exactly. Right. So it said that she's been forced to terminate the lives. Now, terminate here means to end or stop the lives. So it's another way of saying to euthanize seven hundred animals. Exactly.、Mm-hmm. Now, even though her shelter in Taoyuan had both a low kill rate. And a high adoption rate, she still suffered public abuse. So, what this sentence is saying that her shelter, the shelter she worked at, actually killed a lot fewer dogs than、right. other shelters around Taiwan. You know, they actually had a low kill rate; they didn't kill unless they absolutely had to, and they had a high adoption rate, which meant that they got a lot of their dogs adopted by people.、Mm-hmm. So, adoption is the、um, noun form of the verb. Adopt,、right. uh, and it's the process of taking something and which isn't yours, but、mm-hmm. saying I am going to take responsibility for it. I am going to care for it. It's、mm-hmm. almost the opposite of the word abandon we、right. looked at earlier.、Mm-hmm. So adoption is the noun, and adopt is the verb. We're going to adopt a dog. So here we're saying the shelter had a high adoption rate, meaning、mm-hmm. lots of people adopted dogs. Now, unfortunately, even though it does have this low kill rate. And high adoption rate. She still had to kill seven hundred animals、yeah. over two years, and for this, she still suffered public abuse. Now we talked about this earlier, but here, abuse is is cruel, violent, or just unfair treatment of someone, especially someone who doesn't have the ability to prevent it. Here we talk about the abuse of this vet. It was part of her job; she was legally required to do this, yet she. She was still being treated unfairly for this. Yeah,、mm-hmm. and I looked、uh, when I was I wrote this article, and when I was looking online, she she did appear on、uh, news programs and TV programs to kind of talk about the problems to. 
what she would have been appearing for is to try and get more people to adopt animals,、mm -hmm. and she would have been saying, you know, it's horrible to have to put them down. But because of that, she became known, and so she got、right. public abuse. So people, you know, interviewed people would have said bad things about her. People would have gone、mm -hmm. and left mean messages on her Facebook or in other social media places.、Uh, so that's the kind of abuse we're talking about. People just saying horrible things at her. People shouting at her on the street. That、right. kind of stuff. Okay, so the next paragraph says, although the government has tried to deal with the problem, many still believe that banning euthanasia fails to address the real issue. So the government is trying to do something about these problems, but unfortunately, as always does, there's some controversy that it's not. Really solving the problem,、mm. which is what we're saying here when we're talking about addressing the real issue. Here, address is used as a verb, and it's trying to deal with a problem or question by kind of going over it, thinking about it carefully, discussing it with other people, and kind of trying to come to a solution. You're addressing something, you're thinking about it, and trying to improve it in some way. That's right.、Mm -hmm. In this case, we're talking about、uh, addressing an issue.、Mm -hmm. Which is another way to say a problem,、uh, a difficult situation,、right. something that's obviously not right or not working properly that、mm -hmm. needs to be solved or fixed or addressed、mm -hmm. in some way.、Right. So the idea is what they're saying here is: Hang on, okay. So your your solution to stopping the stray dog problem is just saying, don't kill them. Right. I mean, I agree with the idea of increasing the fines,、mm -hmm. uh, but as some people are saying, just saying you can't kill them isn't. Getting to the cause, right? That's maybe getting it stopping the the public side of it, the、right. you know the dogs being killed, but it's not actually stopping where the stray dogs come from in the first place, right? So what they're saying is you're dealing with the cause, you know, you're dealing with the results of this problem.、Mm -hmm. You're not dealing with the causes of the problem, right? And before we get to the causes, which are coming up next, it's also not really solving the problem of the shelters because now the shelters. Are not allowed to put the animals down,、mm -hmm. but they may not have room for all the animals that are coming in. Exactly, right? They'll、and、get so, too crowded. The dogs、right. won't have enough food. And, you know, and the animals' welfare in those situations will also decrease. Yes. So,、mm -hmm. in other words, you're not actually helping that much. Right. You're just maybe stopping people from criticizing you, which、yes. is not necessarily the best way to solve a problem. Nor what Jen was looking for. No. Yeah. Okay. So let's go on to find out. About more about what we can do about the causes. It says most stray dogs are not neutered, meaning they can reproduce. Now, this verb neutered is kind of explained in the second clause there, meaning they can reproduce. When you neuter an animal, you remove their sexual organs so、mm -hmm. that they are no longer able to have babies. That's right.、Mm -hmm. There's a, a related word we use, which is spay, s p a y,、right? mm -hmm. which is only used for female、That's、animals.、Right. Mm -hmm. uh, And you can use the verb castrate, C A S T R A T E, castrate for male animals.、Mm -hmm. So there's a specific verb depending on the the gender of the animal, but neuter will work for both. Right. Okay, so they're not being neutered. These stray dogs are not being neutered. They're they're not having this operation that makes them unable to reproduce. Reproduce here means to have babies. In plants, it means to be able to create more seeds, more plants to grow. Exactly.、Mm -hmm. Now the article then says, moreover, a good many people seem to abandon their dogs on a whim. A good many just means、uh, a lot of, a large、mm -hmm. number of, and on a whim kind of just means for no good reason. It、right. just pops into their head at the time, and they go, "You know what? I think I'm going to abandon my dog." There's no logic in it. There's no careful thought process of why I need to get rid of my dog. And I couldn't include it in the article. I ran out of、uh, space to include the words, but some of the arguments given that the shelters had reported、mm -hmm. reasons why the animals were abandoned. And they were as stupid as the dog is too loud, or the dog is not loud enough. The dog、mm. is too mean, or the dog is not mean enough.、Okay. So these completely stupid, not logical, not thoughtful, you know, reasons. They're just abandoning dogs, as the article says, on a whim. Right. You know, they're just like,、uh, okay, I'm bored of this dog. I'm getting rid of it. And of course. 
A very famous slogan we had in the UK was "A dog is for life, not just for Christmas." Right. It's not something you buy as a present and look after it when it's cute, and then abandon it when it's not cute anymore. That's right. wrong. Right. So the whim actually often suggests that what someone wants is not important, and、mm. so maybe they decide on a whim that they want a dog, even though they're not really thinking it through. Yes. And then on a whim, abandoning the dog because it really wasn't that. Important to them in the first place, which is not the way you should go about adopting or bringing a dog into your or、home. any animal or any animal. That's right. All right. So the, though there are laws about neutering pets as well as programs for neutering strays, they are not enforced strongly enough. So the government in Taiwan. Does already have laws about neutering pets、mm-hmm. and about neutering stray dogs, and it also has these programs where they do neuter stray dogs. Unfortunately, they're not being enforced strongly enough. To enforce something is to make sure that a rule or a law is obeyed, and so the the government or like the programs that are in charge of these things, they're not really doing their job as well as they're supposed to, and the government. Isn't really making sure that they do this job、yeah, as well as they can. Yeah, so that will be saying things like the fines aren't big enough to、mm-hmm. make sure that everybody does what they should, or、right. there's not enough. Okay, where did that dog come from? Maybe we can find its owner, and you、mm-hmm. know something like that to make sure people do what they should do. As the article finishes, much more work is needed to deal with the stray animal problem and to ensure that the tragedy of Jen Zhicheng. Is not repeated, so the word "ensure" means to make sure that something happens or make sure something does not happen. So what it's saying is, okay, they've started this new law, they've raised fines, but they're still not really dealing with the causes of、mm-hmm. the stray animal problem. So they need to keep working and maybe improve the laws, improve the enforcement of the laws、right. to deal with the problem and to make sure that no other vets are put under the same. Pressure、mm-hmm. that poor Jen was right. So what the government really needs to do is they need to come up with ways of making sure that、uh, people adopt dogs with the responsibility that they're going into in mind. Yeah, education is pretty important. It、here. is. Yep,、yeah. and、um, they also should start doing something about the shelters as well.、Yeah. Maybe increasing the size of shelters. Yeah, more money for them to <gasps> make sure they can take care of these dogs because、right. now they can't euthanize them, even though they don't want to.、Mm-hmm. Uh, Uh, and it does make things harder, as、right. we said earlier. Okay, that is the end of our article.、Uh, thank you for listening to us today, everybody. For English Digest, I'm Pat, and I'm Erin, and we will talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.